Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Forge World and Games Workshop. We'll get straight in there with the news uh, right here and there has been a fair amount of news um, over the past sort of two weeks. If I just go back to the uh, 12th of August right about here uh, so two weeks ago um you could pre-order this get off the road made to order lord of the rings uh miniature i think i did cover that in a previous video and then the white dwarf and realm slayer a nice uh, sort of special edition limited edition book and god spain so there was a bit of a quiet period i guess in the um pre-orders uh the next day on the sunday uh, again, Games Workshop ramped up their pre-orders a little bit more uh, in the form of the Space Marines Vanguard Task Force. Uh, so uh, if you still haven't um, picked up uh, suppressors and things, then this is a, a good way to do that. You can also uh, pick up the Captain with Relic Shield and Lieutenant Storm Shield and the Master of Possession. Uh, so this is going back, you know, three years ago to the Indomitus uh, box set. Uh, also, Kill Team had annual 2023, along with um, along with uh, some unreleased separately uh, Kill Teams um, in the form of the Felk or Ravagers, uh, which I will pick up at some point, and the Hand of Archon, as well as the Hearthkin Salvagers and the Inquisitorial Agents. And then you've got some scenery too. Uh, for Horus Heresy... Odd, very, very odd. Uh, we've got the Imperial Fist Praetor and Tartarus Terminator armor. If this model looks familiar, um, that's because they have already released it, but in a slightly different pose. The armor is extremely similar. It is different, um, but it's very, very similar. Um, like if you'd have, I, I reckon if you asked most people, they would have said, yeah, this, this Praetor has already been released. So very odd um, that they release this Praetor again. And I actually prefer the other one. So that's a bit strange. Uh, Black Library had Warhawk in paperback and then the devastation of the Imperial Palace interior map, uh, which I did pre-order and it is on its way. So hopefully I can give you an uh, unboxing and first look at that. Uh, Warhammer Plus, um, we had Lawmasters. Um, they talk about the Legion Imperialis uh, a bit more. Then uh, the next day on the Monday, had a couple of articles about legions, about legions uh, Imperialis. Um, you can give battle uh, with support lance of knights. So they just talk about some of these support lances. And then Kill Team 2023. So play through the entire Galadork season with rules for every team. And these are the teams. Um... I think out of all of them, I've probably just got the Chaos Cult <laughs> and maybe the Necron one. So there's a lot of variety in these uh, kill teams. Um, a little look at Tacticus. Uh, so Warhammer 40,000 celebrate its first anniversary. That's like a little game thing. Um, Rumor Engine, 15th of August. I think that's got to be Age of Sigma with those schools the way they are. Um, Cities of Sigma, raise your wheels in prayer for Pontifex as uh, an Estra. Uh, I've had a little thought about a, a Cities of Sigma, and I'm not going to cover them. I thought I would, but I've covered quite a lot uh, of um, new armies and new releases, and um, no doubt they'll get their own, um, you know. Battle Force or box set, something like that, at some point, and then I might dip in. Um, you've got exemplary battles of a Horus Heresy. Demon engines arrive to reap a bloody toll, so you can download uh, the rules um, for the demon engines. Uh, that is a little bit too. Can we? Can we not zoom out a little bit? Thank you. Um, so yeah, quite exhaustive. You've got the Kaitan Demon Engine, the Brass Scorpion, the Blood Slaughterer, uh, the Decimator, and that's it. So, oh, 
breach the command center. Yeah, so that's not too bad considering. Um, up to you might be worth you know printing those out and having them in paper. I always like to do that um, with some of my units. Uh, you've got the Jude Reed interview. How I brought the daughter of Ursacar E. Creed to life. So that's Jude Reed in the uh, novel. Forty Years of Warhammer. All praise return of the Adeptus Veritas. Knights, Necrons, more uh, in new animations coming up on Warhammer Plus. Finally, I mean, it's been very quiet, I'd say, on Warhammer Plus uh, this, this year. This year's offerings. So we've got more to come. Uh, Cities of Sigmar orders help mortals stand fast against gods and demons. You got the Meta Watch. You got the Heresy Thursday. Yeah, unfortunately. We're not getting um, any more plastic uh, in terms of these. These will be resin, I think. At least I think they're resin. Uh, they look quite cool. I'm not sure they'll suit my legions, but it looks like they uh, suit the uh, Sons of Horus there. Uh, getting to know Talia Vedra. Lovely model. I really like that one. It's one of the reasons why I'd go for Cities of Sigma. Uh, four kill teams arrive on Saturday, but how do they play? <laughs> and then Forge World. Let's see what they say about this Imperial Fist Legion at Tartarus Praetor. Um, yeah, they don't really sort of. Yeah. Acknowledge the fact that he's been out before on there. So. Uh, Cities of Sigma, Cities of Sigma uh, article there. Keep the rabble in line with a rose gallery of reliable heroes. Alternative color schemes. Interesting. You've got a Cities of Sigma overrun your foes with the whole army. These look quite cool. And then Citadel pre-orders, Space Marines and Kill Teams. So these were pre-order a week ago, I think. And then a Sunday preview last weekend you've got the uh, cities of sigma army set i'm gonna dip this one uh it, look, it looks cool don't get me wrong and uh, i will pick them up at some point but there is still just a lot of age of sigma for me to cover and um, which i haven't and i want to go back and cover those mainly gloom spike gits mainly i want to finish seraphon gloom spike gits soul black grave lords and dare i say it lumina Although, a nice little surprise was a Vanguard Seraphon. Again, I'm not sure I'll pick this up straight away. Um, it, it's a fantastic set, don't get me wrong. Uh, and I hope they keep it around for a while. Um, so I will pick it up in the future. Warhammer Horus Heresy, though, you've got the Loyalist Champion uh, console. I do already have uh, a couple of consoles floating about. Um, but this is just the Champion console now. Uh, Black Library, you've got Warriors of the Free Guilds and Combat Arena Lair of the Beast, as well as some others. And then this little um, lanyard. And then a battle report as well. Uh, a little look at a new Uruk boss. The Iron Jaws start a new war. That's quite cool. And then you've got the Warhammer preview online uh, the 30th of August it looks like and then the 31st so that will be interesting um, that's only in sort of four days time uh, Legion's Imperialis has bring God Engine to a Legion fight uh, so a little look at some a Warlord there and a couple of Warmasters okay so this is interesting so you know, different different rule set again, the Legion's uh, Imperialis. So you've got um, 
you've got rule set for Legion of Imperials here, you've got rule set for Titanicus, you've got rule set for 40k, and then a rule set for Horus Heresy. <laughs> There's lots of rule sets flying about. Um, new star player here for Blood Bowl. Uh, Kiroth Krakenai. I'm getting sort of Call of Cthulhu kind of vibes from this one. <laughs> and there's a little fish there as well. Shame there isn't a fish on his base. That would have been quite cool. Um, Cities of Sigma Round Table. Designing the miniatures. So a nice um, you know, video article here of uh, designing them. And their sizes look. It's quite cool. Yeah, the knights look awesome, don't they? It's kind of like Diablo, but in miniature form. I like it. Um, this strange thing. Is it horns? I don't know. It looks like kind of slime or not cobwebs, but some kind of material off of this uh, this horn. Maybe Nurgle. That would be good. Uh, right in the background on the law. Of course, we've got some artwork there. Look at that. That's fantastic. It's like a web by portal. <laughs> yeah, look at that artwork. That's fantastic. Uh, Apocrypha, uh, Necromunda Apocrypha. That's quite cool. Uh, read all about the life in the cities of Sigma with the tremendous Black Library Tales. So they're just, yep, Kragnos, look, and Hallowed Ground. I'm sure I've got Hallowed Ground. And yeah, there's probably more about. Um, Cities of Sigma Week on Warhammer Plus, uh, creating the heraldry and iconography. Yep, there are all the uh, heraldry. Nice um, transfer sheets as well to go on the shields. It's very kind of Diablo, Game of Thrones, that kind of feel to it, I think. 40 Years of Warhammer, Primaris Intercessors. Uh, Prior Nexus is nearly here. Coming 13th of September. Yeah, I am, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to um, Space Marine 2, though. Uh, Gamescom 2023. Uh, I, I would definitely suggest you um, watch uh, Space Marine 2 trailer. It's just it's just fantastic. Like I can see myself playing that a lot. I will be getting it for the PlayStation 5, of course, and I'll be live streaming the absolute hell out of it. Um, Articon 2023, The Emperor Protects, okay, and then you've got some artillery for Legion Imperialis, and then writing the rules for Cities of Sigmar. And then 412 pre orders. Uh, this was yesterday, you could pre order the Loyalist. Uh, champion console um you can actually get him with a helmet if you prefer i'm not quite sure what legion he'd go for i mean he definitely is suiting imperial fists don't get me wrong um with that blade uh, more so than sort of blood angels or um ultramarines uh but or raven guard even um but I think he would work all right with my uh, Dark Angels. So we'll see. Uh, new Warhammer Plus miniatures have been announced. <sighs> yeah. As this, yeah, inspired by classic piece of Karl Kopinski art. Unbroken pre uh, presents a veteran car skin. However, this Carlina von Karstein looks lovely. Um, absolutely fantastic mini. I like that. Um, so yeah uh, they have been announced uh, Cities of Sigma Part 5 painting the miniatures so lots of articles covering this um, release I think it's you know Games Workshop hoping that's going to be a big release um, I think it looks cool I, I would love to get into it and uh, cover all the minis um, but you know, maybe, maybe later on. Uh, so that's all of the, the news. I wanted to cover all the news. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I did one of these videos, but, um, you know, uh, but I wanted to backtrack and cover them now. So let's go on over to uh, Forge World uh, right here. 
uh, where they're not kind of advertising that new console. It's odd. They're advertising this Imperial Fist um, Praetor um, still. I, I think I think they should have taken that down by now. It's been on there like a week or so. Um, but or, or maybe just have the console as a second page of this banner or, or half of the banner. Anyway, if we click on new, uh, oh, we are now in, okay, well, we are now in a queue. So, okay, interesting. So, so I want to be on Forge World, but I have to wait 26 minutes to go on Forge World. Nothing to do with Games Workshop here. They're not selling Cities of Sigma on. Okay. And of course, it's the same story on Games Workshop. So, I will be back in 26 minutes, but in your time, it will be instant. Okay, so we're on the uh, Forge World uh, web store. If we just click on to new and we go pre-orders... Uh, we haven't even got that Imperial Fist and um, Praetor on there now. Uh, you've just got the Loyalist uh, Champion console. Uh, £27.50. You know, there are uh, plenty of single plastic miniatures on Games Workshop now that are £27.50. And um, the one that always springs to mind for me is Morgan Ra. Um, he was released a good couple of years ago now and he was £27.50. So, you know, for the same price... Um, which is what I thought would happen. It's not so much that Fortral Resin has gone up, it's the fact that Games Workshop Plastic has gone up tremendously over the past uh, few years. Um, and you're now looking at, you know, plastic equivalents being the same price as, as Forge World. But, uh, you know, that being said, you can pick up the Lawless Champion console uh, for £27.50 if you really need a console instead of a Praetor. Um, so uh, you've got a number of consoles like the uh, Librarian one as well um, in this funky, funky colour. When it, when it loads, there we go, <laughs> £27.50 for the Librarian. Again, I think you can have him, yeah, without the, the helmet. Uh, in the Mark VI. They're doing quite a few of these consoles in the Mark VI. Um, but if we just type in console, um, you've got three there, uh, but the Moritat, I think, is kind of like a console. If we go to HQ and we just do this very quickly and we go down to yeah about 30 pounds or so um you'll probably find yeah the Moritat, some Praetors, the Assassins are 27 pound 50 which I think were overpriced uh, I think they should have been priced at like even 24 pounds I think that would have been better um but yeah, you've even got this like Legion uh, Vigilator, which is, you know, type of console. So I wish that, and, and the uh, Pravian as well. I wish that if you typed in console, you got the Pravian and the Vigilator um, and the Moritat um, because they're all types of consoles. Uh, I'd like to see more consoles um, to be honest. Um, you know, it's nice to have Legion specific Praetors uh, and sometimes even get, uh, you know, double <laughs> for some Legions. Um, but yeah, uh, it'd be good to see more consoles. And that's it from Forge World. So let's go on over to Games Workshop and have a look at the uh, Cities of Sigma pre orders. Okay, so here we are on Games Workshop's web store. It's let me in after about. 10 minutes or so uh, there's an advert here for cities of sigma if we just click on new and exclusive and we go to pre-orders we view all i think the real reason they've got the the queue today is is those nurgling um like icons anyway uh you the cities of sigma army set 120 pounds we just click on that i'm not sure how long we've got 
uh, in here. But yeah, you can pre-order the Cities of Sigmar uh, box set if you wish. Um, I probably will pick up the models at some point. They do look lovely. Um, but uh, yeah, this month is just not, not going to work for me. So uh, yeah, you can pick up all those. It's, there's 28 miniatures. They're probably going to be like um, single pose minis. I mean, look, at that's the commander, I think it is. Yeah, look at those. Although there seems to be quite a lot of weapon options there. Yeah, and the shields. So yeah, that can be yours for £120. While I'm viewing this, um, it's 10 minutes past 10 and uh, there are still uh, some available on the third party sellers. Um, I'm not sure how popular these are going to be, um, but uh, yeah. You got the Vanguard Seraphon, £85 here. It'd be interesting if this <laughs> um, was sold out before because you know you've been able to get these miniatures for a good couple of months now. I think June was it um, that Seraphon were released. The Vanguard Task Force is out of stock though. Um, and then I think last week you could uh, pick up the annual, uh, the Devastation of the Imperial Palace, £40. Uh, you can still pick up that even after a week. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how many maps are going to do, but I think at the moment they're on five. So this is the sixth one, maybe? So, yeah, that's a lot of maps, isn't it? Um, you know, that's £240 worth of maps there. Uh yeah, so if you've got like a, a room full of them or something, um, eventually that'll be a titan probably. Uh, you've got Kill Team Felgor Ravagers, £37.50, that were last week. So was the uh, Heartkin uh, Salvagers and the Hand of Archon, um, as well as the Inquisitorial Agents. Inquisitorial Agents were very popular, maybe because they were £32.50, but they only consist of like six minis. Um and then the uh, Gallowfall uh, upgrade set, that was also very popular. This is the uh, Warhammer Plus Year 3 Soul Black Grave Lords Carlina von Karstein, £25. Uh, if you want to pick her up, I am a Warhammer Plus um, member, so I will be picking her up. Uh, Captain with Relic Shield was last week, I think. And then the Unbroken Carskin Mini. Uh, you could get that on your Warhammer Plus as well, if you really wish. Uh, Lieutenant with Storm Shield. Again, uh, that was last week, so was the Master of Possession. Warriors of the Three Guilds, that's new um, Omnibus, it looks like, uh, with Nick North, Josh Reynolds, and Evan Dicken. You've got Getting Started with Warhammer 40,000, uh, £12.50 for those. You've got the Nurgling Lanyard uh, with a pin badge. You've also got Lanyard pin badges separately for £7 um, in a variety of colours. Um, then you've got Warhawk in paperback, seven ninety nine, And then a Attaboy lanyard for Ultramarines and uh, an Orcs one. So quite a few pre-orders um, this weekend. So not a huge number of pre-orders this weekend, just some lanyard pins, uh, books, and the Vanguard for Seraphon and Cities of uh, Sigmar army set. Um, yeah, it, obviously it would have been nice to have the Vanguard for Seraphon available uh you know on release um you know to try and shift more of the uh, carnosaurs but there we go i mean the carnosaur on its own is 55 pounds and the crocs of course is 37 pound 50 uh, you know so that's already 92 pound 50 um yeah so you're getting part of the crocs of course for free and you're getting the soros warriors um for free as well so if you're so if you're in the mood of getting um you know some soros warriors for free then uh you know the vanguard set would be the best option um i will pick up this set uh, at some point because i really like the crocs of gore um kit and uh, obviously i would like a carnosaur uh, to go with the soros warriors um we'll see when i can pick that up though hopefully i can pick that up soon what do you guys think of all the pre-orders today um what do you think of the cities of sigma army set and uh you know the vanguard for seraphon and all the other little pre-orders uh, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below thank you for joining me today thank you for watching the emperor protects